I'm going to show you three things the best market in your event. Let's make a right left here. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Well, hello, I'm John Strebelez, and if this is the first time to my channel and you want to learn how to be successful in entertainment, well, jump on board and follow these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. And subscribe to my channel by clicking the bell notification so you don't miss out. What are the three things to best market your event? You might be a band or an actor or just an organization trying to raise money for a good cause. Prevent Cancer Foundation. Preventcancer.org. Whatever it be, here is number one. The adventure. That's right, the adventure. This is everything before, during, and after your event. This technique helps you build your personal brand value. The adventure is always about connecting with your audience organically. They get to see you weeks leading up to the event, what's going on during, if they can not make it, and of course, post-event, you know, after the event. Think of it as what you missed. This process actually helps future events by adding value to the adventure in general and making people want to see what's going on. Number two, as number one is more about what's going on and less about come see me, number two is all about come see me. The proper marketing technique for come see me is about slipping in your website. Specifically, the primary site where all your details for this event and future events can be found. And you know what? Slipping in the link is very easy. Add the link on almost all the posts you make that are about the preparation to said event. So, for example, a post might go, Wow, that was exciting rehearsal. Can't wait for next Friday. Then add the link without a call to action. Call to action would say, Click on this link for more information. Do not put that. Just place the link. Wow, rehearsal was great. Can't wait for next Friday. Link. Because a call to action actually comes later. And additionally, the best ratio is every three to four posts you do on the preparation of the show or event is where you would place the link. Just so you don't oversaturate your audience by them saying, wow, that's a lot of linkage. Number three and something you should actually use with all your marketing techniques. And that is vague, but informative. Because the goal is to get an audience to start a conversation, either with the post or with other people in general. So using the post from before, that was an exciting rehearsal. Can't wait for next Friday. It basically shows you that you are doing something, but what? And you're preparing for something, but what? And also, Something is going down, but where? And you know what? People seeing this could potentially start a conversation. What are you rehearsing for? Wow, where is it on Friday? When how did you even think to do this? Oh my God, you do something? What is it that you do? And you know what? Maybe they don't ask a question. Maybe your brand value isn't large enough or you're not reaching enough people for the rule of 10%. Check out the link right up on top of the uh, uh, video. Tell you about the rule of 10%. Your rule of 10% value, your brand value might not be big enough for it to lead to actual interaction. But I promise you, people are thinking of that, especially if they have the slightest bit of interest in you. They might think, what are they rehearsing for? Oh, Friday. Where is it Friday? And they'll look into it and thus go to your website. A, it's less intrusive. They don't feel the anxiety to have to ask you questions. They can just go to the website. And B, they know that, well, you know what? I can't make this Friday, but they post everything on their website. And that's where I would like to know to go. And that is why they go to your website. Very simple. Remember, vague but informative. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share this video along with subscribing for future content. Uh, have questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive. And remember to look at people around you so you can work together, grow together, and rise together. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Do you, punk? Do you? Do you? I don't get what these thumb things are. I mean, I know that they're for like grabbing of the guitar so you can play metal! Oh dear.